I gotta give him all the special loveies. <laughs> Welcome back to the show of two gringos and a Panamanian trying to build a house. Oh. We, we got we got some drama. We got some drama. No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, we got six dogs, a cat, four goats, eight chickens, and five humans living here too. Welcome back to Lowe's Farm. We try to get all of our chores done first thing in the morning because we got to go back to build the house We're gonna be pouring more of the foundation today. We have this electric fence here. You can see all this grass Starting to grow on the fence and that's shorting out the fence. So I need to cut all that Here's the column, and you have all this. Stuff. So, I'm editing this video right now, and I got some really, really bad news. I'll show you guys the clip of what happened, but basically, as I was taking a time lapse, the puppies decided that they wanted to make the microphone their new toy and knocked over the camera. And they started chewing on one of the cables of the microphone, and I don't know, it was broken. So, for this next part, all of the audio kind of sounds like this we get earthquakes, we get rain. So I just wanna fill you guys in on this next part so you understand what's going on. We're working on seismic beams. So we get a lot of earthquakes here, we get them very regularly, and we need to connect all of the footers with a beam, a cement beam, underneath the ground. So let's just pick this back up with us digging holes for the seismic beams. Play so you can play. This is gonna help build all the cement in place when we pour it into the ditch. It's getting better, but any sticks. There you So a lot of this stuff has kind of become a little bit redundant for us because every single step that we do is ourselves. There's no machine that's doing it. There's no prefabricated um, anything. It's all very, very manual, which in a way, it makes the whole experience that much more rewarding because we're literally doing every single of the way. You know how many people are like that built houses are just rolling their eyes right now? And like, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, just wait a month. <laughs> yeah, just keep wasting your time. Eh? <laughs> Here's a little close up look at what we're doing. You can see we have. The footer over there and we're tying it in with this one with this rebar and now this one's ready for cement We're kind of having a hard time because we have cement underneath all these pieces of plywood. So there's nowhere to really drive stakes down into the ground to hold the plywood in place. So we're trying to improvise with some cinder blocks for now. We just need it to hold for a few hours until it really sets. It's time for bed yet? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm very dirty. So yeah, this is the final Final result, I keep getting dirt in there. This is absolutely indestructible. If this house falls down, I'll never build another house ever again. I have to don't be inside when it falls down. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So Jordan and I are currently on our dinner number two. <laughs> We got arepas over here. Which for those of you guys who don't know, it's a traditional Venezuelan food. And Adriana crushes it. She's amazing at making them. I'm feeding for two. No, you're not. So I need, I so I need two dinners. <laughs> I'm feeding for two. Honey, we are pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm pregnant. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Are you waiting for me to get up? Sit. Sit. Good girls. Good girl, good boy. I have to come down and also feed our other pet, which is our biogas digester. If you're wondering what it smells like, it does not smell good. <laughs> There's just a bunch of cow poo in here and compost. And what's happening in here is the breakdown process of the compost is creating methane gas right here. This is a big bladder of methane gas. There's sandbags on top that's creating pressure. And then the methane gas comes out this hose. We haven't finished installing this yet. But it comes all the way through here and runs to this little stove right there. bodies are like failing us. <laughs> I don't know, failing me anyway. Even me, I haven't really done much of the concrete, just of the shoveling the gravel and the sand. And even even my body's just like, no. <laughs> you got all the excuses though, because you're growing another person. Yeah, that's true. You're growing another person and doing the same amount of work that we are. So does that mean that I, I get as much ramen as I want? And ice cream? I had to go put my hat on because I've been getting a pretty gnarly sunburn over the last couple days. But uh, so we have this whole side completely done. It took us about a day and a half. But Rodrigo and I are gonna start working on digging out these trenches to get them ready for doing the exact same thing over there. Hi mom, <laughs> I'm working. But there's still a lot to be dug out. So I think Rodrigo and I are gonna be just digging dirt for the next couple hours. As much as this is so physically demanding, so much physical labor, there's something about it that I really, really love. And just keeping my body moving and doing something physically demanding that is also at the same time making our dreams into a reality. This time it's building Rodrigo's house. The next will be building our house. And I'm just over here imagining what it's gonna be like when we have a child and that child's gonna be around. And I feel like at first it's probably gonna be really tough and I'm not gonna be able to do as much as I am right now. But I will say, it is a goal of mine to be that badass mom that just has a child strapped to their back and just keeps, keeps doing the thing, you know? Shoveling, gardening, building shit, cutting shit. That's the kind of mom that I want to be and I really, really hope that that's what it'll turn into being. So Jordan's dad just arrived last night and Jordan's going to pick him up now from the hotel. And it's been about one year, a little over a year since the last time he's been here. And the last time he was here, this land was just a raw piece of land. There was nothing on it. The bus wasn't even up here yet. So we're both really, really excited, especially Jordan, to show him all of the progress that we've made in the last year. Look at look what I found. <laughs> look at look who I got. Hello, everybody. Look who it is. <laughs> 
This is my daddy. <laughs> He's come to work. <laughs> Put me to work. Bro, I'm going to leave you for a few days. Come on, bro. I'm going to miss you. All by yourself. I'm going to miss you. I'm not sure if I can do it. It's all right, bro. You can you can handle it. You'll have Kaylee's help. Okay, I, I feel better now. She's, she's got the power of the pregnant woman right now. <laughs> when my dad said he was coming, I really wanted to work on a project with him that we could try to get the whole thing done. I don't think we're going to finish the whole thing, but we're going to get a lot of it done. So we're working on a solar kiln, and i got to get him behind the welder because he's never welded before. It's and be it, fun. it might be the only thing that I'm better than him at. <laughs> A big reason why we want to build a solar kiln right now is we plan on building a lot of Rodrigo's walls, especially the outside, out of wood. And we have a big problem drying wood here. All this wood we've milled within the last six months to a year now. And this piece specifically is over a year old. And if you take a look, it's been drying for a year and it's at 20% humidity, which is just way too high. It's only an inch thick too, but there's just so much humidity here that this wood is drying at a snail's pace. The solar kiln that we're building was designed by Virginia Tech and it's supposed to dry wood like what we have in a matter of weeks or maybe a month or two. I'll put a picture of the solar kiln right here so you guys can see what it looks like. But basically it uses the sun and really smart ventilation to dry out wood very efficiently with very little power. And if you guys are wondering why don't you just go to the store and buy some wood? Well, they don't really have wood for siding here. They have some two by fours, they have some pine, which is terrible in the rain, terrible with termites. So we need to take matters into our own hands. The indigenous wood here, the local wood from here is hard. It's very water resistant. It's very termite resistant. And we have some trees lined up. We just need a way to dry it. And we're doing it with this kiln. Iberto and Enrique have been an awesome help with this project. They've done six footers for us, which is gonna be the foundation for the solar kiln. And it just saved us a ton of time. And we're also pretty sick of doing footers at this point. And they hopped in and did all this in four days. So we just need to pour a little bit of cement. <laughs> Alright, now, now you gotta film. This is your, this is your time to do B roll. Hello! <laughs> Hola! I can't find a grinder, baby. Yeah, this thing's a beast, huh? Yeah. Shooting this guy? Yeah. <laughs> shooting this guy! Shooting me! I'm shooting him! Inception! You'll never make it as a YouTuber. I'll never make it as a photographer. Ever. <laughs> Just give up that dream. And Jordan. Barney the purple dinosaur? No, no, but Jordan is. Uh, oh, Jordan Barney. was a baby. He, he used to love Barney. Love Barney. And I'd sit through that minutia day in and day out. How many bags? I'll go the half. He's not gonna be able to move tomorrow. There's no way. He's gonna spend tomorrow in bed. Watch. <laughs> Can Can I... I my little friend. If any of you guys have built anything in the States before, you'll know for any type of footers like this, you would usually use sauna tubes. They're kind of like cardboard tubes. You fill them up with cement and then you take the cardboard off. Here, they build their own sauna tubes. And my dad's getting to experience it firsthand on what it's like. <laughs> on the, what it's like building stuff in, uh, in Panama. It's definitely different. Here's what the finished product looks like. You can see Kake put his initials in here, K-P for Kake Pupu. <laughs> you can see this is, we took the form off of this one and here's our metal plate. So the metal beam, we have a quarter inch, three by three metal beam that's gonna come up and it's gonna be welded right onto the steel plate. All right, so he goes in the inside corner. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Just that, how about the other way? Okay. Now go the other side. That way's fine. Let me, let me hit it over here. I gotta hit it again. It's pretty bad. Hey! 
What is that? It's a nightmare. <laughs> hey, that's not bad. It's awful. No. But it's gonna work. This one, this one's not even done yet. I mean, the I've name of the game is just for it to be strong and not to fall over. And I think as long as we do another weld on top of it, we should be good to go. But I'm, I'm trying to make it look like jewelry, and it's not looking like it jewelry does. yet. It does. It kind of looks like a, like a beaded bracelet. Uh, yeah, it looks like something. <laughs> yeah. We're relying on you for the solar kill. Don't put pressure on me! Don't let me down, Dad! <laughs> it's really, really bad. I feel humbled. <laughs> Are these all your friends, honey? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute because at first Lola just absolutely hated them for like the first week and now you can see they all just like look up to her and she just you know struts her stuff and they all follow, follow behind her. it's so cute oh, honey. and all honesty part of the reason why I wanted to work on this other project a little bit is my body is just so beat from moving cement I broke my hip when I was back in high school and it's just an injury that just always lingers and uh, I just need a couple days to let my body rest from moving cement around in a wheelbarrow and mixing it and lifting up gravel and sand. And we're canceled on the account of rain. Look at this right now. Our whole yard is a river. Welcome to Panama. <laughs> Look at how much rain we're getting right now. Three and a half inches per hour. Three and a half inches in an hour. That's like half of what some states in the United States get in a whole year. Up, up, come on. You've been working in all this, bro? I was working, bro. No, you weren't. I was. He's soaking wet right now. We gotta, we gotta get back to work, honey. He's gonna beat us. <laughs> hey. Come on, Dad, get your butt off the couch. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Boys and girls. Excuse me, it's two in the afternoon. Well, we had a nice little extended lunch break, but the rain just stopped. So we're getting our butts back out here. So now we're just cutting off all of the tops of the beams here to get them all nice and level so then we can start with the framing of the structure. You know I'm always sticking my tongue out of my mouth? This? I get it from my dad. He's always doing it too. I think I do it more, but it's a skill. I don't know how, how else you're supposed to steer. Last and final test. We had to recut a couple of these. Oh! Wait, wait. wait. We got the double bubble, and it's right in the middle. Oh. It's right in the middle. So we just keep fighting the rain today. It comes and it goes and it comes and it goes. So we decided bring the workstation underneath the awning here because we're gonna be doing some welding we definitely don't want to be doing any welding in the rain that's for sure <laughs> are all level to each other, they're all flat. Now we need to take these cariolas, which are going to, this is basically the floor of the solar kiln and weld them to these beams. Ah. Are you going to stand on it? 
Yeah. Do you want to explain what we're doing here? Give me, give me a second. Here. I messed I'm up the caballos to... a little bit. I'm a little rusty with the caballos. No, and then they're, they're a little twisted. Uh, look it, you can look. Uh, look at the end. It's just a little or twisted. Uh -huh. So we have <laughs> these lovely 700 pounds of men <laughs> that we're gonna put on there to push it down. We need more. Lean forward. More Come on, Doug, get more on there. Cowbell. Cowbell. Lean forward. More cowbell. Forward. More cowbell. Safety first, Kake. Safety first. Oh, Rodrigo, safety Good first. Boy. Oh my oh, god, I almost lost my balance. <sighs> Wait. <laughs> like my horse? You do it, honey? Yeah, it's a little floppy. That bottom's really sloppy. <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. We made a lot, a lot of progress today. This is the hardest part. The foundation, the footers. Getting our, make sure everything's level, making sure everything's perfect. And it's pretty dang close. So we have to get back tomorrow working on the platform. Gotta get up bright and early. But for now, we're just gonna take in the sunset. Got just an absolute firecracker of a day. I already have an inch and a half of rain this morning. It was pouring all night. And we're gonna try to get some work done in it because if you're afraid to do work in Panama when it's raining, you're never gonna get anything done. progress on the framing of the structure now. Jord and Doug are just working on making the caballo for the centerpiece, which is gonna go right down the center here. Doing construction all day can get a little redundant. <laughs> But having these puppies around all day long to play with in between is literally the best feeling in the world. And we don't just have one. We have Lola Girl, which as you guys know is the queen. We have five little puppy guppies and they are just the best. You'll never be able to keep Kaylee away from a welder. She's one month pregnant, five months pregnant, nine months pregnant, one month after giving birth. I'll strap that baby on my back, <laughs> give that little baby a respirator and I'll keep welding. <laughs> so while George is just finishing up welding this middle beam here, Doug is starting to cut all of these, what would you call these, cross beams? Cross beams. Cross beams, so we have 18 in total. We have nine on this side and then nine on that side. So we still, we still got a lot of cutting and a lot of welding to do. No! That's our cactus! You are not supposed to be out here right now. <laughs> How did you get out here? They've kind of been in their goat pen all day because it's been on and off raining all day long. So we've just kind of been bringing them hay throughout the day, but this girl, she's like, mm -hmm. hey, is not gonna cut it. I need my fresh green grass. Here you go. <laughs> not really sure how she got out. She must have climbed over this front part here or something. But it's crazy, you guys, how much these babies have grown. Look at George, he's got, he's got a beard. <laughs> Sweetie? Yeah. Turn around for me. Turn around. Come on. <laughs> you have a Good really butt. poopy diaper, honey. Poopy diaper. You wanna change it? <laughs> you gotta practice. <laughs> How'd you get such a poopy diaper? I was sitting in the mud, sweetie. <laughs> Look how muddy it is around here. It is very muddy around here. <laughs> Looks like a good base, dude. Good base. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> huh? I'm ready for bed. I think we crushed it, you guys. I think we did. Love it. No. Well, we did in two hours, dude. You're gonna make your poopy diaper way worse. There's already poop all over him. Oh, wait. 
real Sounds quick. Like hold on. Hold on. So let me show you guys what we got. You doing the test drive, honey? Yeah, I'm walking the beam. Please. So we got half of the foundation, the, the frame, the frame. Done. done. So today was rough. It was like off and on, off and on with the rain. So we were out and in and out and in and out and in. Halfway there. All this section here is gonna be the doghouse, but that's gonna be for the next video. This is all that we got in us for today. We usually take these days off. This is usually a day off because my dad's here. I'm like, we're just gonna push right through. <laughs> we're pushing, baby. And I'm, I'm wet. <laughs> Daddy! Oh, Elma! <laughs> you are so dirty, honey. What <laughs> this is what it's all about right here, you guys. Steak dinner, <laughs> showers, mm. and watching the Celtics with my dad. So, we're gonna hang out here. I'm gonna finish up this game, and then we're getting right back after it tomorrow. We're gonna finish up uh, all the framing, hopefully, for the solar kiln. So, you guys want to check that out on the next one, but this we're gonna say goodbye to you guys. We love you guys. See you next time.